previously on Bob's Crab House. All right, guys, sorry if you've been watching in 4K. I'm traveling and my laptop is really hating uh, doing running 4K video and recording my real time voiceover uh, at the same time. So I've had to down res to 1080, but we can still see them. And let's see where we're at. Oh, well, we got Rocky, the uh, aggressive red rock crab in the back there, making, literally driving the Dungeness up the walls. Uh, we've got two Dungeness in, Barney with the big barnacle on his back. Oh, yeah, there. He's giving it back to him, short jabs. Uh, we've got two Dungeness at least, trying to get in on the sides. And I think there's one still chewing on the camera in the back. And we have, right now, we have been down 38 minutes. So, um, yeah, it's great to see that uh, some people have been watching, uh, see some great comments in there. Uh, some people who sound like they have a lot more experience than me. Um, sorry, I'm not looking at uh, YouTube right now, uh, so I forget your screen name, but uh, someone from Oregon uh, who said he's definitely seen that aggressive crabs have kept others out and he checks his pots very frequently. Uh, which is a lot of work unless you got a pot puller, uh, something like every 15 minutes. So this guy's getting in, but still, oh, okay. So, well, no, he's still getting caught in that upper one. So, uh, also had a good comment, uh, a little back and forth about, uh, my thoughts, uh, over designing something that maybe could, uh, help these Dungeness. Uh, get inside because uh, they right now it seems like they keep sticking their claws through the upper part of that swinging door uh, the trap door um, right now they've only got access to three because we've got that bulk kelp leaf uh, hanging over that one uh, but they have three other doors but still having trouble getting in so now the other thing we've been wondering is uh, you know will they escape if they I guess get bored or get frustrated because they don't have access to some food. So uh, my working theory is that this can stuff, if they can get one of their legs in and start pulling it out, as we've seen that, you can see the white pieces flying out. I think that red rock that we can't quite see from here, um, he's got a leg in there and he keeps pulling it out and then chowing down. So that's, you know, spreading bait, spreading scent, drawing up. Oh, here's our friend the sculpin again. He's like in the in the lion's den here, but uh, oh, here we go. Let's see what happens. No, okay, showing showing him no mind. Um, but look at the <laughs> look at the claw. <laughs> Rocky's like you're not getting anywhere near this. I'm the one pulling the bait out. Uh, you're not getting right at the source. This guy finally looks like he's getting in, sidling in. There he goes. Or she again I, don't, I haven't really been 100% accurate uh, or a great shot on the sex of them oh that's it lift them up okay so that's a female right there uh, with the barnacle on her lip who just scrawled in front of the camera uh, again that's uh -oh, uh oh we've been caught that's another female right here okay so we got two females and Dungeness yeah you don't keep the females you let them uh, let them breed let them make eggs and make lots more Dungeness. So happy to be giving them some, again, what I got in the can is a can of chub mackerel. Uh, I'll have to look on the labels to see what, uh, what size they are, but they're pretty big cans. And when I pull them up, there's still quite a lot of fish left in them. So I stick that in the freezer, uh, but there's not the juice. When you open it up, it's juicy like a tuna can. And that really helps when you see it going down you know, I don't want to drop these real fast because I don't want to change the angle of the camera lens and have it pointing down and waste a whole hour that I have it down there. Uh, but I want to get it down there so there's still uh, scent uh, dripping out. And there's quite a lot of juice in there. So my other thought is freezing these cans, maybe not solid, but enough that, uh, you know, I do that with other baits. And that way it, it'll start defrosting right away, uh, but at least it doesn't all get lost at the surface. So, uh, 
What are we doing here? He's just helping his friend get up. He's trying to give him a leg up towards the escape hatch. Those round things at the top, those are, they're tied just with a little twine. So if this trap ever got lost, that they would eventually rot away and then there'd be large enough areas for these crabs to get out. When they're real small, they can just already go out the size mesh, uh, but definitely legal. That actually only four inch crabs really can't get out. Um, and the red rocks have to be five inches to catch it. So there's, all right, now we, now they got, we have four, four Dungeness. There's definitely enough to gang up on the red rock. So we'll see if he can hold them off. You see his claws up in that aggressive, threatening manner. I mean, we, you see him, you know, they got a lot of leverage and they're really strong animals as in anyone who's ever picked up a, a Dungeness red rock crab. Look at him, he's, he's got his chest out. He's all puffed up in the back. Uh, I know quite a few people who've been bitten by both of these spe or pinched by both of these species, and they are very strong. Uh, but hey, that's why they have the shells, so they can uh, battle each other without really doing harm. I think they just probably protect the eye stalks. All right, now, so how far in are we? We're 43 minutes in. So again, under, well under an hour, and we've got, <laughs> we've got a, a lot of action going on. That guy got in pretty easy. Uh, yeah, and we've got, uh, so Rocky is really feeling outnumbered now. He's backed in a corner, but he's still pulling. Look at all the food flying out. That's all from him. He's got a leg in there. I don't think he's got one of the big claws in there. I think he's probably just got one of his skinny legs. Um, so that's something else I'm thinking. Maybe, it, <laughs> he's just pushing everybody out of the way. Uh, I'm thinking maybe, uh, you know, opening up some of the bait cage a little more. Uh, we'll see if, uh-oh, here we go. Get in there, get back in there. You guys, if you cooperate. Uh, but the one, the, the, <laughs> slap. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Uh, ooh, look at that, yeah. I don't know, if I had a shell like that, I don't know if I would back down. Um, what was I saying? And, oh, uh, about the access to the bait. Um, you know, again, this is different because doing these tests, the cameras only run for a little over an hour. Um, I got a GoPro 11 in there and uh, you can set them so they don't start recording for you know, a half hour. Uh, but the thing is, we've been getting crabs in there just in, I think, the first five minutes. All right, who are you? Is that Lippy, the female? The barnacle there? Yeah. So they're, I mean, they're loving it because they're down current. They're getting all that scent. Uh, I don't know why there's plenty of food on the, on the bottom there. Or actually, no, I guess the current's picked up. So there are some bits on there they can feed on, but they, they still want to try to get to the source. But Rocky's got that uh, pretty much all to himself. It's also interesting, since the kelp is wrapped around, uh, you can see that I think that's what's causing the stir up in the visible. <laughs> Look at Rocky now. <laughs> oh, it's because there's a dungeness trying to get under his back, or he's behind him. It's like you always attack a tank from the back, right? So if somebody has been smart enough to use that's behind Rocky, you can't reach behind him. That's why you pick up crabs from the very back and it's trying to stay low. And Rocky's not gonna, oh, this other one sees the camera. I'm ready for my close-up, Mr. DeMille. And this is a little further. That is, whoops, a little too far. Come back down. That is, that's a, that's a female. That's a good shot if you ever want to see the undercarriage of a crab. They are very cool looking creatures. Very cool looking. Look at the barnacles. So those are right on the mouth parts. You'd think that would bother. Oh, there we go. There's a hug. Yeah, now let's try and figure out our, who's more aggressive, the females? I don't think we've identified a male yet in the Dungeness. So we got three, four, five, six crab in the pot at 46 minutes. 
And look at the look at the bait coming out now. Rocky is just pouring that out of there. So really, so the guy in the far left corner looks like it's just picking picking bait off the ground. He's tucked in there under that purple kelp. And these guys are yeah, they're just shoveling it in. Look at that alien versus predator. Yeah, why even try to knock Rocky off? Of course, you got to take your shot, or else you're just a bum. Uh, but yeah, they're just chowing down. Another thing I wonder, maybe if somebody's got a lot more experience, is... So this is an area where I'm going to do these tests, where I, I know there are crabs there, but it gets hammered by commercial guys. And uh, I think this year it's going to be year-round again. Oh, another rock. We got Rocky 2 now coming in the right. So this has really stirred up. This is now getting to be a healthy, a healthy pot here. See what happens when the other red rock comes in. That'll be interesting to see if they're as aggressive with each other as they are with the other species. Um, and again, we wonder... Yeah, there was uh, another great comment, uh, which I have been designing since I've been... Hello, how are you? Nice to see you. Just moving through. Nothing to see here. Um, since it's been frustrating for me to wonder what's going on with the camera. Oh, here we go. Here's another fight at the door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nope, we're full. Maximum capacity. Oh, wait, that's a dungeon. So there's a, a dungeon that's riding a red rock trying to get in on the right side. And I could be wrong. So we've had, we've had only had, we've only had crabs come in from the down current side, right? I think they've mainly come in that right side door, but I think one or two would come in the left, or at least one. So look at this. And also all that big density right there that you can see it's right in that stream of bait coming down. And there's another, here we go again. Dungeness has his arm stuck in that upper part of the trap. There he goes. That's a good sized crab. Look at the size of those claws. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, welcome Mr. or Mrs. I think that's, that looks like a male to me. That doesn't look as broad. Um, but we can't tell until we see the total underside. And there's there's Rocky too. But the other's a dungeon. <laughs> that's an effective strategy. Just use your body to block the entire door. That'll keep them out. Of course you may get a claw in the ass, but... All right, get out of my way. So these guys, you can see why these guys are such effective scavengers. I mean, that's why they're so important in the ecosystem uh, because they just, you know, devour stuff, uh, anything that, that falls to the ground. Although I, I don't have access to it right now, but I've got some really cool footage of uh, Dungeness did some night diving uh, when the plain fin midshipmen were mating in Hood Canal and went down there and I have some great footage of a Dungeness eating uh, you know, they would get these males that are just so concerned about spawning that they're not really paying attention, and they're, they're just grabbing live fish, usually crabs. You know, they'll eat live stuff. I've got video of them. Uh, they love to eat live mussels, and they'll, they'll eat barnacles. Uh, they love fish, but, you know, it's not real easy for a crab to catch a live fish. Uh, here we go. Use, yeah, use your butt. Keep them out. Uh... Oh, all right. There's a little cooperation, maybe. Not that I think these guys are cooperating at all, but um, it just... <laughs> They're very excited. So, you know what? I didn't keep track. Did one just go out the left-hand side? I was looking on the other side. How many do we have? One, two... There's Rocky two finally coming in, maybe. The red rocks seem better at going low. So there's a crab on the right. But one, two, three, four, five. All right, we've had six in there, and that's what we have now. Hello. Yep, yep. Camera's still running. Thank you. Uh, another good. Oh, oh, look at that. So I'm also going to do, I'm working on designing one that's mainly because I, I, I want to do this even outside the season. Uh, but, you know, you can't, can't crab and 
Uh, again, for anybody who's, who's worried about any of our actors uh, being eaten, I'm not saying that none are, but uh, any of these females, anything that are under legal size uh, are, are just released right back. That's what I was saying. I'm wondering if like these females, if because this is a place that is heavily crabbed, uh, do they get to know what a crab trap is? Do they, are they the ones that are just seem to be aiming towards the door and they'll come in and they know that, hey, I'm gonna get a, get a, get a meal. That, is that a male? That looked pretty skinny there. Um, they're gonna get a meal and they'll, they'll get yanked up to the surface and then they'll get, wee a little throw back into the, uh, into the ocean. Doesn't hurt them. They float down. Uh, there's not where this is. Uh, you know, seals will eat them and things like that, uh, but it's not near a rocky place. There's not, not big lingcod or anything that might try to take them on. There's not really great places for octopus. Uh, we've got a lot of giant Pacific octopus around here that are, again, I'll, as soon as I get back to my I'm done traveling, I'll put in a clip. Uh, it was just diving with a giant Pacific octopus. It was about 12 feet from arm tip to arm tip. Uh, a week or so ago and uh, got it to suck onto me with his uh, his or her suckers and yeah uh oh somebody's back against the camera they're, they're gonna move the camera come on keep our view don't maybe the maybe the crabs all think they're amateur cameramen all right this is probably a good place to stop I just uh, zoomed out and it looks like uh, so the next one will be done in uh I'll just wrap up the last 12 minutes of this one we'll see who stays inside uh who goes up who gets returned to the ocean and uh yeah just as they were all piling in big crab pile good time to stop all right see you this is uh one four see you at one five